Hello and welcome. My name is Amuldi and you are watching TapTube. If you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please subscribe right away. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 4.9 on Microsoft Windows 10. So this will work on Microsoft Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. And I'm going to use XAMPP as a server on my Windows computer. And this is cross-platform. So if you haven't downloaded it on your windows or operating system simply go ahead and download it from here apache.o apache french.org and you can choose for your operating system so this is available for windows linux dextros and mac os x and above all right that's once that's done you simply go ahead and pull up your browser so be whatever browser you use i'm going to use google chrome and then open this website wordpress.org and then you click on download wordpress so you can see this is the latest release 4.9 and this is what we are going to download and install on microsoft windows if you want to know what was the biggest and major improvements in wordpress 4.9 you can simply visit the blog page here and this is the blog page so you can see 4.9 wordpress 4.9 tipton that's the name of the release and you can see this was released on 16th november so that's just 13 days ago and these are the uh, the improvements you can see major customizer improvements code error checking and more let's quickly go through so you can see customizer workflow improved so that's good and coding enhancements obviously for okay syntax highlighting and error checking sandbox for safety potential danger ahead okay this is good for the developers even more widget updates so more than you'll keep getting more widget updates than it was in 4.8 so it's a good site building improvements again for theme switching uh, more reliable theme switching fine preview um, the perfect themes so good for updating and installing new themes okay less confusion you can see so it's a good lend a hand with Gutenberg that's another thing here um developer happiness okay so customizer js api improvements code miner mine mirror mirror code mirror available for use in your themes and plugins media element js upgraded to 4.2.6 so these are a few i think biggest improvements and definitely going to help everybody the users and the website and theme developers at the same time plugin developers so thank you so much let's quickly go ahead and download it so i already have downloaded you simply have to click on this link download wordpress 4.9 and save it wherever you want it to i have saved it on my desktop so here it is okay so let's quickly go ahead and unzip it so right click and extract it if you have some tool to extract like there are a lot of tools that you can use but this is going to be just it so i have my xmp installed but it's not running so let me go ahead and launch the xmp control panel and you can find it on your operating system from the start menu and make sure you are running apache and mysql if you're getting any prompt asking for uh, administrator rights or privileges you have to say allow or okay if you're not logged in as an administrator please log in as an administrator so let's go ahead and quickly in the meanwhile while it's being extracted create um, a database which is required for WordPress installation so to get to the dashboard area you simply go to 
the XM dash dashboard area simply go to local host and hit enter and this is your Apache friend XM dashboard area here you click PHP my admin you can also go ahead and check PHP info so this will give you what PHP you are running so it's 7.1.7 11 1 1 okay and this is php my admin page you can also visit localhost slash php my admin and simply create a new database it's very simple so let's go ahead and say wp 49 that's going to be 4.9 okay and hit create so when you create a database php my admin creates a username that's going to be root with no password so this is what we are going to use the host name is going to be localhost and it has all the privileges okay so this is what we are going to use now i hope it's almost done here so yeah it's done so 100 percent and this is the wordpress core that we're going to need so 4.8 4.9 wordpress 4.9 okay now we will quickly go ahead and open the windows explorer go to this pc or my computer go to c drive and then go to xm and then you go to htdocs here you can create a folder or you can simply drag the extracted folder to this folder so let me quickly resize them and now you can see if i want to create a folder i'll click here and name whatever i want okay the only thing you have to remember is the folder name so let's say i want to say wp49 that's going to be 4.9 and if i open it open the extracted folder as well copy everything from here or just cut it or simply drag it over here okay it's going to take a minute or so so once it's done it shouldn't take a long time you can also extract to a, a folder here in htdocs from the wordpress core zip folder so shouldn't take a long time let's go ahead and see what it is asking for so localhost slash the name name of the folder so wp49 whatever the name of the folder you had created so let's go ahead and check so once this these files are pasted in this 4 wp49 folder you will see the installation page so here we go hmm, okay. almost done so here we are the files and folders have been pasted in the wp49 folder and it should get you to the installation page so here you simply have to select your language click continue and it's asking for the database name username password host and table prefix so it's going to be wp49 username is root as you know so here it is we don't have any password for it we have a localhost database i want to change the table prefix so just whatever you want to do okay submit run the installation and here is your website so wp 4.9 this is going to be 
just make it up like this. All right, so admin username. So you have to choose a username if you are serious about it. And password is going to be admin just for so that I can remember it. I also want to confirm the weak password and email address is required. So this is just a fake email address. I also want to discredit the search engine indexing while I'm developing my and for customizing the theme. Okay. Alrighty, so it shouldn't take a long time and you will see. Okay, so this is success page here. It says WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So let's quickly go ahead and log in. I want to check the box to remember the username and password. And here it is your 4.9, WordPress 4.9 dashboard area so here you can see version 4.9 and if you go to to check the changes there are a lot of changes major improvements go to customizer you also go to uh, visit the site you still have the wordpress 2017 theme soon i think in december we will have 2018 theme so thank you so much that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel and have a good day bye for now hmm righty thank you so much bye for now take care